Community Matters. That's why NBC6 is the only station giving you a weekly Coffee with the Mayor segment. Now, each week we'll sit down with mayors from across the Arco Tex asking questions about what's going on in their communities. Now, today we welcome Mayor Terry Gardner of Menden, Louisiana. Good morning. I know it was a drive, Good but morning. we appreciate you being here bright and early. I enjoy being here. So the big question, what's going on in Minden? Oh, man, we are open and we are live. A lot of things are happening in Minden. We've got a lot of uh, things under construction, the remodel of Walmart, a uh, new medical plaza on Homer Road, uh, new McDonald's. We pushed over the old one, new one coming up. Just a, a lot of interest with our technical college now becoming a two-year college. It's, uh, we're growing, we're growing. Let's talk about this medical pharmacy plaza. Um, okay. This is going to be great so that people don't have to travel outside of the area for their prescriptions. Correct. This is just an expansion of some businesses we have with the exception of, of the, uh, the new pharmacy. Mm -hmm. The new pharmacy will be a, a locally owned pharmacy. So, you know, a lot of people like to deal with people local where you know each other's names mm -hmm. and you're not just a number. Mm -hmm. And then as far as the two-year college, what does that mean as far as education in Minden? It's kind of putting you all on the map to say yes, you can get some yes, higher education yes. here. Well, we're excited about it because we used to just be a, a, a two-year college. Mm -hmm. Now we're actually a two-year community college. Mm -hmm. So when you go there and you, you take your different classes, in the past they wouldn't transfer to like Louisiana Tech or LSU. Now they will transfer. So that will bring more people in, into, our, into our city and living there to get their education. So we're excited about the growth that we'll see with this community college. I'm sure it's going to be great. Mayor. Yes, it is going to be great. So a lot of people go to Minden. We're going to kind of segue now. We know about all of the festivals. You all have a lot of festivals for a small we area. We do, we do. And one of the big ones, the steak cook-off. The steak cook-off, that, that is a new uh, festival actually mm -hmm. we're a spin-off of the the car show we have a car show every year and there's about 200 antique cars that come and we're having a kitty car show this year so they were wanting something to do on friday night so main street decided to partner with the car sh the car club and so we have entertainment on friday night the state cook-off and it is a sanctioned cook-off so you can go to a higher level once you went on this level do you plan to participate no not a griller. <laughs> uh, I've got, listen, I've got all the toys and everything, uh -huh. but I let all my employees do the grilling and, gotcha. and I enjoy it. Enjoy the eating part. I enjoy the eating part. You're absolutely right. Now, the citywide campaign, that's kicking off September 21st. You're wanting to bring awareness to that because it's everyone's community. It's everyone's community, and we're coming together as a community. You know, the thing about it is we never get an opportunity for a second impression, mm -hmm. and we don't know when that person or that corporation is going to come to town on a weekend and, and look at our community. So we want to be ready all the time for that, that new uh, industry or just that new fast food restaurant. Because if you're a clean city and you look like you're, you're going places and you're doing things, they want to come be a part of that. I know as mayor you told the constituents about the importance of ownership and taking pride in your area. This kind of falls hand in hand with that uh, motto that you have. Yes, take ownership, take pride, you know, because we're one community and we all help one another, just like St. Jude. Look what our community does during St. Jude. We're the largest giver per capita in the United States with St. Jude. So we're a giving community and we want to give back to one another as well. Have you seen more people moving to the Minden area since you've been in office? We see people knowing that we're here, mm -hmm. knowing that we're alive, knowing that we're open for business. We're all excited. We're being very proactive doing things in our community as far as enlarging, trying to bring subdivisions and things like that because with the new Barksdale Air Force Base opening the entrance right there, you can set your cruise control, sit back, relax, be at Minden in 20 minutes. So why not live in Minden? We've got great schools, we've got great churches, we've got great infrastructure, and we are the safest city in Louisiana. How about that? How about that? Do you that? think that has anything to do with the military? I don't know if that has anything to do with the military. We've got a great police force. Our mm -hmm. police force is great, uh, growing. We're looking for uh, qualified men and women all the time to be part of our police force in Minden. Well, Mayor, I truly enjoyed you this morning. Thank you for Thank being you here. Thank you for inviting me, and I look forward to coming back. Yes, and unfortunately, that's all the time we have for now. But again, you can find all of this information that we just covered on our website. That's arclatexhomepage.com. And a quick reminder, Coffee with the Mayor runs each Monday right here on NBC6 News Today. Stay tuned. Jesse is back with a final check of weather next.